We turn our attention now to a new way of approaching the game. Peaceful golf is a revolutionary approach which takes the method out to free the mind. Hi, I'm Noah Polipsky. I'm the founder and author of Peaceful Golf. We're here today in Marine Park in Brooklyn, New York. Allow me to show you a few tips of my new approach to teaching. Bad shots are one of the hardest things to overcome in the golf swing. And they are one reason that we sabotage ourselves and we can't get better. What generally happens after you hit a bad shot is your brain immediately, your conscious mind comes in and says, what did I do wrong and how can I correct that? So immediately you start running through all the tips that you've learned and you start adjusting your weight. You may put more weight on your left. You may change your grip. You may swing more inside. You may more come more outside. All of these things become compensations, which makes the golf swing inefficient, not efficient. So what I recommend and what I teach all my students is that when you come into a golf ball and you made a bad shot, you shouldn't think about how to correct that shot. You should trust that the subconscious mind is learning from that bad shot and is ready to try again to perform that action. So instead of making any adjustment at all from that previous shot, just walk in and trust the fact that hitting bad shots is part of the learning process. When you learn to ride a bicycle, the way you learned was by falling down. Once you fell down a few times, the brain kicked in, the subconscious kicked in, and learned what balance was to keep you on the straight and narrow. So the same thing here, I won't make any, any changes. I'll just walk in wherever my body and brain wants to stand, and I'll just make a golf swing. As you can see, using the subconscious is probably something you've never used. So give this a try. See if you can eliminate using those compensations when you play, and just see if you can let the subconscious learn from its mistakes.